Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Delphine and today we are going to see the part two of the video I filmed about the Victoria Beckham products and in particular uh, we are going to see in this video the lip products as well as my global review from um, all the eye and uh, lip products. The eye products I reviewed in the part one of this video. I will put the link uh, somewhere around here and also in the description uh, box below and yeah Without further comment, I'll let you with the video. Okay, let's move on to the lip product. So I have the crayon, um, the lip crayon, which uh, is a good product. I've tried it uh, um, to see how it works. Let me tell you what she says about it. Uh, so, so it's called, again, a lip definer, and I have the color number three. Um, because she has so different uh, colors, she has uh, seven colors. So the first five are the first six are numbered, and then one is just called red. And the one I have, so they cost twenty nine euro each. Um, the one I have, they say it's a natural shade, one to six, hence the tone of your pout. Put pout. I don't know how to pronounce it. And performance of your posh, white red pairs perfectly with pop for a power lip. Uh, they say it's uh, lip definer may be one of Victoria's favorite products ever. A precise waterproof pencil to line and define the natural shape of your lips. The smooth texture allows for tuck free impeccable precision for contoured lips without skipping or feathering. And the result is a uniform lay down that contours and colors the lips, creating a defined fuller lip look. I don't wear often lip liner because I normally don't have the time, uh, but I thought, hey, why not giving it a try um, on, for the sake of reviewing the product. And also, I ordered the, this posh gloves, and you will see, I will try it after, and um, I found it very nice, but the color was a bit too, too natural, and so I did an order again, and I wanted to try with the lip uh, pencil under it to see if it would look better if I go out or for days I, where I have a bit more time. And I also ordered then another uh, lip gloss um, in a bit of a darker color that we will try together now to see if um, I have a better color payoff. So let me show you on my hand. I will do it maybe here now. So it's quite a natural color indeed. I mean, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's kind of a dark pink, I will say. Let's see. So, I will try to go around my lid. I don't know if you can see, it's very close to the color of my lid. And you can see here, it's just a tiny bit darker than my lips. Yeah, I mean, you can see, yeah. It is darker, so I will then fill them a bit. Because I don't like so much to have this uh, strong contour. So yeah, I filled a bit my lips. Okay, nothing to say. It applied nice. You could see, I mean, I just don't have to go 20 times. Um, the color is actually good. It's my lips just maybe one tiny shade darker. So that's perfect for me. A good product. Um... Yeah, nothing revolutionary, 29 euro, you have a lot out there on the market for around this price, which is also good. So um, whether you want to go for this one or another one, it's kind of up to you, I would say. And now we will try with this one. So it's a lip gloss called Posh. Let me check what she says about it. Um, so this is in the color, where is the color written? The color is written under, it's in the color Fig. And... It's award-winning, uh, this lip gloss. And I originally thought uh, that this would be a bit darker than it is. Um, so she has a lot of pictures on her website, but it's always a bit hard to, 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 to see exactly. And she has no uh, beauty counter here where you can go and try the product. So you have to do with, uh, with this. So it costs 32 euro. And there is uh, three, six, eight colors and one uh, transparent uh, finish, just shiny finish. So nine in total, nine options. She says, mirror-like shine, no stickiness, which I can confirm because I've tried it. 
Posh Gloss is the ultimate summer uniform offering longwear lip care in a range of rosy browns, effervescent pink, and colorless option that is so clearly posh. So the shade they said feels is a cool rose. And um, they say it's also moistur moisturizing formula so that protects the delicate skin of your lips to repair the barrier and prevent dehydration for healthier, more useful lips instantly and over time. And the result is an otherworldly shine, fuller, smoother, healthier looking lips with a high shine, reflective finish that lasts. Okay, let's see, let's see. So the applicator is like this, I would say quite classic. And now the crayon made my lips look a bit dry, so let's see. Okay. I mean, you have shine. No, no lying there. <laughs> um, is it otherworldly? I don't know. I have the feeling it's quite um, classic for gloss. Let's see. Um, it's definitely it will transfer because um, of the formula. Indeed, no stickiness. I can confirm. I mean, just maybe a very, very light one, but almost no stickiness. So, um, yeah, I'm very happy. Uh, I think it looks also much better with uh, with the crayon under. Now you have um, you can see like there's colors on my lips. Whereas if I wear it without a crayon, I have the feeling I will show you on my other hand. It's very close to my natural lip color. So it's you see it's it's the color is actually quite quite light. I mean you can try to build up on it, but it's very light. So this is fizz. I'm going to show you, let's open it. So I ordered it in one shade, one shade darker and it's called Aperitivo. Let's open this one and let's see one shade darker. Let's put it next to it. Okay, yeah, it's, it is darker. Okay, this will be, this for example, I think will give me a similar result to what I have now on my lips, but uh, without my needing to use a crayon on top. So this is very nice. Then I've been, um, ah, yeah, what I liked also about this product, which I will now be able to do it with a slightly darker uh, tone, is uh, it's very easy to apply. You can be on the go, uh, you just um, put it. Uh, I can even do it without a mirror, which is very nice. You know, when you have kids, how often do I just do my lips in the elevator in two seconds while, while we're going down? So, yeah, definitely good. And this is the Posh Lipstick. Uh, that I've been trying also. Let me show you. I like this product a lot. <clears throat> the Posh Lipstick is, I think, my favorite one of the products I've tested. Even better than the gloss. I mean, it has a different finish, right? The gloss has this shiny finish, which is very nice in the summer. Uh, but it's not necessarily something I will wear all the time, something so shiny in the everyday life. Uh, especially since, yeah, you have kids. I mean, it's transferring, right? So if you want to kiss your kids, they're going to end up with marks everywhere. So this is the Posh Lipstick. It's more expensive. It's 42 euro. It's not that big uh, because you see inside it's quite thin. And there is um, 14 shades. So quite a nice choice. They say ultra creamy moisturizing lipstick, rich color, buttery shine and light as air wear, enriched with botanical waxes and superfood ingredients. And yeah, then they give a little description of each of the shades so that you can uh, choose it. Um, so it says it's clean and so that uh, and it has super food for lips. So it has rose flower wax, natural wax blend, oil blend and pomegranate jojoba complex. So it's all for nourishing, hydrating, plumping your lips. Um, okay, and then oh, she also gives some recommendations if you want to pair one of them with one of the lip liner. Um, so, oh, I have to go two seconds. I forgot to pick something to remove my wet, my makeup. We will do a little cut here, and I will be back in two seconds. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I removed I removed it, and now we're gonna apply this one. 
I like that it's as for the gloss, you can really, I can do it even without a mirror. You can just go up. And voila. And that's it. It's extremely creamy. Applies very well. You cannot see it anymore so much, but there was a little BB logo at the end there, which was very cute. Um, very comfortable on the lips. Definitely not uh, drying. Uh, very nice result. I find neither too shiny nor too matte. Um, for me, it's perfect for the everyday. It's just this shade uh, I have, which is the shade Spark. It's just one shade darker than my lips. And yeah, it's for everyday life. Uh, uh, I find that it's very nice. When you don't want uh, to have such an impactful makeup, you're going around with it. It's, it's perfect. Really, really, really like this one. I will, I would definitely buy this one again. Um, it's really, really good. I've tried a lot of lipsticks. I wear a lot of lipsticks, and this is really a nice, nice, very nice formula. And yeah, extremely comfortable. It, it's not um, long-lasting. I mean, if you eat or drink, it will go away. It's, it's not meant to be um, uh, staying forever. Okay, then I will. Papala. Taking it out to show you the last uh, product I have, which is the Beaten Lip uh, Tint. Right? That's the name. Be beaten Lip Tint. Exactly. Uh, so, what do they say about the Beaten Lip Tint? Oh, well, I clicked on the wrong, <laughs> the wrong thing. Sorry. Lips Beaten Lip Tint. That's what I want. Ah. Hyaluronic Lip Gel. 40 euro and there is five shades uh, available and the packaging is much bigger than for example you see compared to the to the lipstick it's so much bigger even compared to the to the gloss it's it's a bit bigger um, they say it's matte and moisturizing beaten lip tint delivers buildable transfer proof flush of color that lasts all day a weightless jelly with a barely there feel universally flattering shades for effortless just kissed flush so that's why they have not so many shades, because uh, it's just meant to be very discreet and a light uh, shade. Infused with hyaluronic acid and squalane to hydrate and nourish lips. So again, the care uh, aspect. Visually plumps and smooths lips upon application. Stays in pla place without being dry, sticky or tight. Glass tube containing an ultra-fine angle dough food tape for the ultimate precise application and Cupid's bow definition. Okay, um, so they say it has a triple hydration complex, sodium hyaluronate, three molecular weights of hyaluronic acid inside to pen work to penetrate the lip at different depths. Nice. Mustard sprout extract, uh, so it hydrates, hydrates lips, creating an immediate plumping effect without irritation. And it increases microcirculation. And squalane is prevents moisture loss and restores lip suppleness. Okay, and then there is a bit more description about the different shades to help you pick one. So the applicator looks like this. So indeed, um, has quite a pointy and precise finish. I have the shade Cherry, um, which is described, let me check, which is described a sheer pink rose. So, yeah. I mean, you can definitely see that it puts some color and then we have to wait for it to dry. It, I was a bit confused the first time I used it because it's extremely liquid. It's it's much more liquid than than, than a gloss. It's I think that's why it's called a tint. Um, I only had used once in the, pa in the past such a, a product and I was, it's a bit confusing at the beginning because it's, uh, it feels almost like a watery texture, a bit thicker than water, of course, but it's a bit... Uh, unusual let's say for for some product it's drying it takes a bit time to dry you always get a tiny bit in your mouth it has kind of a slightly sweet taste which is funny not in not uh, bad or anything it just i was a bit confused at the beginning uh, the first time i also put too much and it's liquid and i got much more in my mouth which was a bit uh, uncomfortable so don't put too much and now it's slowly drying so it takes a bit time to dry 
um, it's definitely very comfortable on the lips. You once it dries, you feel almost nothing. I would not say completely nothing, but really almost nothing. You feel it much less than the gloss. Uh, I find you feel it more than lipstick because, but maybe it's just because I'm used to wear lipstick. But I don't feel my lipstick somehow. So, okay. Now let's see for the transfer proof. Um, I think the first time it does a bit. Ah, no, or look already no transfer. Uh, but the result is also very sheer. I mean, I don't know. I have the feeling that the camera it looks like more than what it is in real life. Um, but as she said, it's buildable. So for example, we can go for a second layer. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Yeah. And now yeah, I have a bit more color. Um, what I like is, yeah, when you have kids, uh, transfer proof is very nice, uh, obviously. So this, this is something I really like. I find it's not as easy to apply as the other products, the other lip products. So that's maybe just a bit the, the tiny downside. If I'm on the go, it's not necessarily the one I will pack with me because it will not be so easy to reapply in between. But if I have a bit time before going uh, out, um, this, is, this is a really good product. And that's about it. Oh god, this video is very long. I'm sorry guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so, as a summary, there is not really a product that I would say is bad. Um, products where I think it's not necessarily worth uh, going for this price point, uh, unless maybe for the care ingredient, but I don't know how much this will apply. Is uh, So the waterline pencil, I mean it's good, definitely. Uh, but you can find this uh, product in a lot of different brands for cheaper price points. So it's okay, I would say. Nothing incredible. Why not? Um, same with the lip liner. Um, it's good, definitely. But um, I've seen others which are also good. So not breaking the bank for this. Um, then the gloss are nice. Uh, but they are glosses, <laughs> let's say. So the good aspect about them will be the, the care aspect. Uh, but otherwise, um, if you don't care about this, then all the brands are also good, I would say. Then I will put the mascara. I'm a bit in between uh, because for everyday look, it, it's quite nice. Uh, I find for eyelashes, the uh, care aspect can be really interesting. Um, so this might be worth it on the long term uh, mostly for the for this care aspect and it's a good product so and then uh, same with the lip tint I really like it because I like the transfer proof you see it's nothing happening it's really comfortable on the lips on the other hand it's a very light result and um, yeah you can have uh, I know other brands also do lip tints um, so yeah it's it's, uh, it has the advantages of a lip tint. Uh, whether you buy it from Victoria Beckham or another brand, it, I would say it depends from you. And then the two products I really liked, I mean, yeah, that I will definitely, I think, repurchase are so her, her satin uh, casual eyeliner. They're really good in it. Um, incredibly easy to apply. Um, they don't, did not move. I'm, I'm very happy with them. Uh, nice colors also. I mean, I will maybe buy more shades. And uh, I find her lipstick is also very good. Uh, I, I, it's just sad that it's so expensive for such a small uh, content. That's my only down aspect. But otherwise, it's it's tiny, it's compact, easy to, to take, easy to apply. I'm very happy with it. So this I might definitely buy again. Some of the other products, let's see, maybe, maybe not. We will see uh, how, how they perform in the long term. That's it guys, sorry for this extremely long video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I will put all the reference uh, of the products below, uh, the links to the Victor Abekayam uh, website. If you have any question or if you want to know anything more, please feel free to, to ask in the comment. I would be happy to, to answer you. Have a nice day, guys. Bye.